Hey, listen, we are excited about this video. We're excited about you. And we are excited about encouraging you to stay excited about your marriage. Listen, the, the reason why we're making this video is because we recognize that that there are a lot of marriages that don't succeed simply because of a misunderstanding yes. of what marriage is. Yes. Now, to us, mm -hmm. marriage is that that wonderful covenant of friendship. That's right. So to us, we're we're friends. We're the best of friends. Yes. But that's not the concept of marriage in many circles. <laughs> What we're going to do is give an illustration that we heard a long time ago. My wife is going to give the first illustration. I'm going to give the second. And then hopefully when you when you hear this illustration, you'll recognize how that a misunderstanding of marriage, how that that itself can mess up an entire relationship. So there was this couple. The man was Tom, and the woman was Lori. And they had a wonderful, amazing friendship. And when Lori would go over to Tom's house and see him mowing the lawn, she would insist that she mow the lawn. And then on another occasion, with, um, when Lori would come over to Tom's house um, and she'll see him washing the car, she would insist to wash the car. <clears throat> so. Vice versa, when Tom would go over to Lori's house, and Lori had like a really big family, and he would see her washing all the dishes, he would insist that he wash the dishes. And of course, Lori did not have a problem with that because she didn't like doing dishes anyway. So they really had a wonderful time together until <laughs> they got married. <laughs> now, everything was good for them before they got married. Right. But after they got married, everything went down. Why? Lori got fed up with Tom. She was through. She was done. She didn't want it anymore. She was tired. But they ran into a friend. Thank God for that. <laughs> They ran into a friend, and they told their friend, listen, it's not working for us. It's not working for us. I need to go my way. She needs to go her way. And we're just going to settle it like that. It didn't work. Right. And, and the friend looked at them and, 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 and just asked a question. What was it that you all enjoyed about each other? And Tom began to tell the friend, wow, when we was friends, she used to come over and she used to Helped me cut the grass and she was really, really good with the edges and everything with the grass and made it look really good. I had enjoyed having her come and help me with the car when we was, when we was courting and everything. And before he could say anything else, Lori was like, what? what? You gotta be kidding me. We've been married all this time and you never let me cut the grass. You always said that that's a man's job. Now, she told a friend, he used to come over to my house and he used to do the dishes and everything because I hated doing dishes and, and he would come with him his cooking was excellent and my family loved his cooking he don't do none of that anymore I come home we both working I come home he expect me to have the food ready he want the dishes done and, and, and I'll be tired And Tom began to express to him, well, I thought that once we got married, it was her job to do the dishes and do the cooking. And my job was to be outside doing the grass and washing the car because that's how my parents did. So I thought that once we got married, that's what marriage supposed to be. Right. So his friend said, well, no, 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 no. wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Are you telling me that if we set aside what your parents did in their marriage 
And Tom was willing to cook and to wash the dishes. And Lori was willing to do the grass and wash the car. That your marriage would be a happy marriage? And they both said, yes! <laughs> In Tom and Lori's case, once they got married, Tom mm -hmm. thought about what was going on in his parents' marriage, mm -hmm. opposed to focusing on keeping this friendship relationship. It's just a friendship married. We're friends. They got married. Mm -hmm. Opposed to we were friends. They got married. You no, know, you keep the friendship. I'm focused on how I can make you happy. You're focused on how you can make me happy. Mm -hmm. And together, we can have the best relationship but most of all, friendship, there he is. Now, in the book of St. John, chapter 15, verse 15, uh, Jesus expresses the fact that I have called you friends. This was the beginning of the church. What Jesus was really saying is, listen, I'm calling my church my friend. This expresses what the type of relationship that Jesus has always wanted, the type of marriage that he has always wanted, how this marriage issue got messed up, we have no idea. Maybe sin messed up the whole concept of what marriage really supposed to be. But Jesus made it clear that I have called you friends, which means he wants his wife to be his friend. That's what true marriage really is a covenant of friendship.